be with you and with your spirit. The proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine and my father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit. And everyone that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine. And you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Because without me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ating nanasabi sa umpisa ng ating misa, ng ating gospel is but a repetition of the gospel of last Sunday. Pero ang sabi nga nila, every time you read the word of God, it becomes fresh anew. And if you're open to the Spirit, you will get different messages every time. Simply po ang parable na ito. And for person in Israel, it was something that was daily lived. You speak of a vine and you speak of a vine grower. You speak of the vine and you speak of the branches. You speak of the desire of every vine grower for the fruitfulness of the vineyard. Kaya po, simple, pero grabe ang messages na pwedeng iparating sa atin. The other word for the vine grower in a lot of other text translations is the vine dresser. Ito'y nagpapasigurado na ang lahat ng pangangailangan ng tanim will be provided so that the fruitfulness ay talagang kanila pong makuha. But I did say it last Sunday, if you could imagine that the one who owns the vine grower The vine dresser is God himself who is trying his very best that this vine and its branches will really bear much fruit. The word guys is abundant fruit. Bungang hitik na hitik, bungang napakarami of joy and of love and of a life that has sense and meaning. Ang isang vine, draw, vine uh, grower, vine dresser, constantly checks and that assures of his presence, of his caring presence. Who every now and then touches to see whether everything is going well with the branches. Who every time sees the need, not only takes away the those who are not of use, superfluous and necessary, but even prunes those, are, those which are productive kasi ang hangad niya is that we bear more fruit. Kung Diyos ang pinag-uusapan as the vine grower, then we cannot but affirm na yung kanya pong hangad, his desire, is that we bear fruit of authentic love. To make The productive, more productive. The Holy Father reminds us of one thing. 
only when we are united to Jesus can really we re, can we really bring forth fruits of real love. Si, sa kanyang meditation, sinabi ng Santo Papa, there is something about here of a reciprocal and active connection. The vine belongs the the vine is so connected and desires to be connected to each branches and the branches for it for them to be fruitful must directly actively be connected to to the vine para baga ang sinasabi mo sapagat it is from the vine that every energy of fruit bearing will come Parang sinasabi ng, ng branches, the vine and us are the same. We belong to one plant. The vine offers us the energy and the life that we can have. We have one root taken care of by the Father. And this one desire is that we receive from the vine everything that we need. We are extensions of the vine. We are of the same material as the vine. And in the end, our relationship with him, Jesus says, is the relationship of disciples to the teacher. Kaya ano pong ibig sabihin nito? Kung ang isang vine, ang isang branch is connected to the vine, then it assimilates the very energy of the vine. Kung disciple master ang relationship, ang ibig sabihin nito, lahat ng nasa puso ng nagtuturo, the vine, the one that provides, the one who teaches, yun nasa puso din ng disciple. The aspirations of the master become his own. His dreams and his plans become that of the disciples. Ang pamamaraan niya at panana, pan, pananaw niya ng mga bagay-bagay nagiging ganun para sa disciple. In the end, the disciple becomes like the master. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, dito sa, sa theology, sinasabi nilang, we get to be conformed to the master. Whatever ha- the vine has, the branches will have. We become configured. Nagiging katulad tayo kamuka ng ating sinusunod. And so we ask ourselves, ano bang mukha ng vine? Ano bang mukha ng teacher? so that we can get configured to Him as His disciples. My dear friends, may nagsabi, we are not in the world to see how important we can be, but to see how much difference we can make in the lives of others. Ganda nun, ano? Kasi para sa iba, ang mabuhay sa mundo means competition. Sometimes dispute. Mas matindi, away. Because of the constant desire to be more than the others. Then, someone added, it is not what we possess that gives us worth. It is what we pass on to others that in the end gives us true joy, true peace, true meaning in our lives. And if we are truly connected to Jesus, then we will understand that the sense of life is to be found only when our love becomes authentic in sacrificial service. May nahanap po akong isang film. Actually, nanalo po ito ng Oscar ha? in the animated uh, department ng contest. In short, cartoon po ito. But this, the lines are so simple, it convinced the jurors that this is one film that is worth declaring the best. 
Ano po yung makikita nyo? Siguro nakita na ng iba sa inyo. Ang sin po ay nasa loob ng isang bus. It is a bus that transfers passengers from one place pero mahaba ang journey across America. Ang una pong na-focus ay isang matanda na may hawak na baston na nakatayo. Puno po yung bus. At doon sa katabi po nung mama ay may nakaupong isang babae na tinignan siya at nakita yung matandang mama at ang sabi sa kanya, Sir, why don't you take a seat? Sagot ng matanda, Pasensya na lang, iha. Kasi yung ticket ko has no seat. Ibig sabihin, pwede kang sumakay pero hindi ka pwedeng umupo. May mga ganun po sa Amerika. So ang sabi ng babae, ako din po, wala din po akong seat. Kung gusto po ninyo, kayo na po umupo rito. So ang sabi ng matanda, o di sige ka at medyo pagod na ako. Na po yung matanda, tumayo yung babae. Nakahawak siya doon sa rail ng bus. Sabi ng matanda, sana hindi na dumating yung uupo rito. Ano? Tagdagdag pa siya. Ineng, pag ikaw na may medyo napagod na, oo, ay pwede namang ikaw naman ang maupo. Sabi ng mga nag-girl, kaya ko pa ho, although limang oras pa ho bago ng aking destination, ay ang tagal pa noon. If you want to sit down, you just tell me. O di ganun, tumakbo ang, ang, ang bus. After some time, ito na yung konduktor, nag-check na. So kinuha niya yung ticket ng matanda at tinignan, nilagyan ng, tam, ng, 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 ng marka at nakita niyang no seat. So kinuha niya ngayon yung ticket ng babae nasa tabi at nakita niya, Aba, may numero. Ito yung numero kung saan nakaupo yung matanda. It was clear that the woman gave up his seat na binayaran niya para sa matandang walang upuan. So ang sabi sa so kanya, nang nakita yun ng konduktor, sumi sa kanyang babae. Huwag na kayong magsalita, pagbigyan na yung matanda. So lumapis sa kanya ang konduktor at sinabi, Ma'am, napaka-very kind po naman ninyo. Kung gusto po ninyo, mayroon pong seat sa harapan na iyan po'y palaging libre, reserved para sa amin. Doon na po kayo umupo. Ang sabi ng babae, O di sige, salamat ha. Pero bago siya umalis, may kinuha siya kung daon kung saan nakalagay yung mga baggage. Alam yung kinuha? Dalawang crutches. Physically handicapped ang babae. Pilay ang babae. Kaya ang lahat na nakakaalam ng storya doon sa bus na gulat. Nang with great difficulty, lumakad po siyang may dalawang crutches to the seat that was being given by the conductor. Alim mo mga kapatid, The message of that film is real kindness is when you're able to give up something that you yourself really, really need. That kind of a kindness that the Oscars recognized in a film which is a cartoon is something that the world needs today. But that can only come when we as branches have assimilated from the vine this constant desire of Jesus to sacrifice self for the sake of others. May isa pa akong kwento at ito napakaganda na rin. This one is not a film. This one is a real story of a guy named Dale Schroeder of Iowa, USA. For the past 67 years, naging karpintero po siya Sapagat magaling na karpintero, hindi siya nakapag-asawa, hindi siya nagkaanak. So kumita po siya ng almost $3 million. And yet, nang tinig na nila ang kanyang buhay, up to the very end of his days, he had only two genes. The basics of things 
talagang nabuhay siyang as someone who was really poor. And yet they would discover at the end of his life that 33 students who became doctors, pharmacists, therapists, teachers have all graduated from their studies without any debt because itong si Dale Schroeder paid from all that he has gathered in these six, seven years as carpenter ang kanila po mga bayarin sa school. Only a person connected to the vine will have the authentic love that Jesus has in making his life meaningful by becoming a gift for others. Kaya po, sa mga bata ngayon, teachers, parents, do not educate your children to be rich. Educate them to be happy. And let them understand that ang real happiness is not to be found in money. The moment they begin to understand the real value of things, then they will grow up and they will know the value of things essential and not the price of things. Kasi kung pera palagi ang nasa isipan, in the end, you will end up truly sad when money is not available for you. Totoo sa ating dalawang storya, there is something that makes, that, that becomes different, that transform, gets transformed in us as image and likeness of our God. Sabi nga nila, there is a big difference between a human being and being human. And only a few really understand this. Today, let us not be afraid of the pruning of God. The vine dresser, the vine grower understands one basic thing. That the more expen- extensive, extensive the pruning, the possibility of maximum fruits becomes even greater. And that's the way God works. Walang santo dito sa mundong ito na nabuhay, na ang buhay ay marangya, masarap, walang kahirap-hirap. But despite of the difficulties they went through, real joy was in their hearts. Because God not only cleanses at the beginning, but continues to cleanse so that the fruitfulness be truly abundant in all of us. Ulitin ko ha, the vine grower, the vine dresser is doing its, his very best to make all of us fruitful because he loves us. Kaya final ending sa ating, ating sermon ngayon, sa ating sharing. We are immersed in an ocean of love and sometimes we do not realize it. We have to ask for the grace of realizing that the vine grower, the vine dresser is very close, is checking on us, is doing his very best so that everything that happens to us in our lives, especially those which are not very good, will result in greater fruitfulness on our part. Amen.